This is conducir to drive preterite forms. Now, how are we going to remember that conducir means to drive? Well, everybody say conductor. Conductor. What's a conductor do? Well, he drives the train. So if a conductor drives the train, conducir is to drive. Cool. Now, this is a tricky verb. It's what I call a J verb. It's hard enough you might want to watch this clip twice, okay? Now, I'm going to say each of these forms in English, then Spanish, and clap. And after I clap, I'd like you to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me. Okay? You ready? Here we go. I drove. Yo conduje. <coughs> I drove. Yo conduje. You friend drove. Tu condujiste. You friend drove. Tu condujiste. You sir drove. Usted condujo. You sir drove. Usted condujo. We drove. Nosotros condujimos. We drove. Nosotros condujimos. And finally, they drove. Ellos condujeron. They drove. Ellos condujeron. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, I'm sure, is this random J. Extra J, 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 J. Now, there's no J up here. Why is there a J down in the preterite forms? Well, think back to conducir in the present. In the present tense, the yo form of conducir is condusco. Condusco. Now, they don't stick the Z in the yo form to confuse people or to uh, make people have struggles or anything. They do it because it sounds better. Just for fun, one time and one time only, everybody say conduco. Conduco. Now say condusco. Condusco. So they stick in an extra letter to make it sound better. Okay? Now, in the present tense, there's a Z in just the yo form, but in the preterite, there's a J in all five forms. Okay? Now, another thing you might have noticed is there's no accent. There's no accent over the E in the yo form, and there's no accent here. And some of you are thinking, but Mr. Holt, you said the most important chant in Spanish, too, is this. If it ends with an E, it was done by me once with an accent. If it ends with an O, it was done by Joe once with an accent. So why aren't there accent marks? Remember, I also said if it's tricky or regular in the present tense, then in the past preterite there are no accent marks. Ir, ser, estar, hacer, tener, all of those are tricky and irregular in the present tense, so none of them have accents in the past tense. So again, if it's irregular in the present, it's not going to have accents in the past. Another thing you might be noticing is these endings. Notice, it ends in E, I S T E O. I-M-O-S-E-R-O-N. Hold it, Mr. Holt. Why isn't it I-E-R-O-N? Well, notice that little star. For real complicated reasons that I'm not going to explain right now because it's more Spanish 3 than Spanish 2. In Spanish, you can never have it. J-I-E. It's always J-E. Okay, remember how I've talked about you just say no to three in a row. You can't have three vowels in a row. You can't have three consonants in a row. L along those lines, you can never have J-I-E in Spanish together, okay? Now, some of you are thinking, wow, this is a hard verb. That's a lot of trouble for just one verb. I won't worry about it, but be careful. There are actual, actually several verbs that follow this pattern. Everybody say J verbs. J verbs. Now, J verbs are verbs like conducir, producir, and traducir. The infinitive end in U-C-I-R, U-C-I-R, U-C-I-R. Now, if it's a J verb in the present tense, the yol form is a Z, produzco, traduzco, conduzco. And if it's a J verb in the preterite, there's a J in all five forms. Okay, again, as I said, this is a tricky verb. You might want to watch it a second time. Hopefully you're now feeling more comfortable with conducir to drive predator forms. Great.